Yeah, so this is like this classic, classic current generation. Oh. Kind of. Oh, no way. You got Notice the these? detail? Hey everyone, Justin here with Bob's Watches, back for another episode of What's in the Box, and I have Ripley joining me again today. Welcome back. Thank you, happy to be here. All right, well, you know the deal. We get all these amazing watches every week. We have a special one today, but before we get into it, you wanna do a wrist check? Absolutely. Uh, so this is not my watch, took it from Emily on the way in today, uh, but it is the teeny tiny Patek Philippe Aquanaut. And for my dainty wrists, uh, I think this thing's so much fun. I think it looks good. <laughs> uh, I mean, you pull it off. It's a, it's a nice oh, watch. Don't say that. That's, I know. That's, don't take yeah, the no, don't take it the on. wrong way, but I like it. I wish I could pull it off. I think it's cool. Um, I do too. I mean, I would love this on like a fun, colorful video yeah. or something. Yeah, it's it it's looks such small, a cool but it doesn't look ridiculous or out of place. It's you know, it looks like a really interesting shrink ray version, and I love that. <laughs> I've, my wrists have never felt bigger. Oh, uh, <laughs> what, what, what are you wearing today? Uh, I'm going classic Rolex uh, 1675 GMT. Oh, gorgeous gilt dial. <laughs> yeah, gilt dial, uh, Pepsi bezel, uh, great watch. Gorgeous. Yeah, small GMT hand too on yes. that one. Yeah, yeah, really nice. Very cool. All right, well, let's get right into it. Like I said, we get amazing watches every week. We got a surprise today. Uh, I'm excited to, one, see it, and two, show you. So without Likewise. further ado. Thank you. All right. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and guess right now, this is either a Panerai or an Omega with it's a box a this size. It's a New York City apartment. Uh, yeah. <laughs> that is exactly what's in that box. Um, okay, so based on this box, I, yeah, Panerai or Omega. Care uh, to get more specific for extra points? No, that's not heavy enough to be Rolex Crown Collection. Yeah, yeah Panerai or Omega. Um, oh God, I don't even know if that's big enough to fit the Omega Speedmaster treasure chest thing from the previous generation. I'm gonna go on a limb, say Panerai, something with a toy submarine Ooh, in it. Ooh, yeah. yeah, yeah. All right, let's open this box and find out. All right, well, you were right, well, kind of. Kind of. It's an Omega. Let's get into it. Okay, so a Speedmaster. Ooh, Speedmaster. And this, this, I mean, they all come in a little treasure chest, but this is smaller than the previous generation treasure chest, which was like a, uh, a, a pet coffin sized apparatus. This yeah. is smaller, so I think this, this is, is the small treasure chest. The small treasure chest, so it, it, it is a Speedmaster Professional, mm -hmm. so we've really narrowed it down. I think this is one of the current gen, the 3861 movements. Okay, I'm gonna peek and then uh, we will see. Ah. Okay, so rather than guessing at it a whole bunch, I am just gonna take it out and show you. Okay, you so were right. Very classic Speedmaster. Yeah, so this is like this classic, classic moon watch current generation. Oh. Kind of. Oh, no way. Got Notice the detail. These are really cool. This is actually the first one of these I've ever seen in person. I remember hearing the news about it mm -hmm. that um, you know, Rolex had stopped its corporate partnerships and that uh, Domino's was moving over to Omega. Sure. And that the franchise owners were going to be receiving Speedmasters yes. when they got their words back. Yes. This is the first one I've seen, so it's... I've seen one. This is the second time I've seen one. Um, so, for if you don't know, this is the Domino's Omega Challenge with the Speedmaster. Um, like we said, in the 70s, Domino's would incentivize the franchisees with Rolexes by hitting certain sales goals. And just recently, I believe, was it last year, 2022? 2022, yeah. Um, they had switched and now Omega gets the honor. So this is the Omega branded Speedmaster. Yeah, this is really cool. So people always think of the Domino's Rolex, but like the Domino's Awards watch wasn't just one single watch. Right. Uh, the first watch they gave was a Seiko branded Domino's. And you know, throughout the years, I believe it's been a couple different things until they had that longstanding partnership with Rolex. But we to joke about this, the Rolexes they were giving, you know, it used to be a base level model, then it got a little bit less exciting of a base level model. I think this is a fantastic switch yeah. for them. Um, personally, look, I love a good Rolex, but if someone was like, hey, you can have like an OP36 or a Speedy, I'm gonna take the Speedmaster. I agree 100%. Um, it's so, it's other than the signet link on the bracelet, it appears to be like the classic regular yeah. 3861 NASA certified moon watch, you know, stainless steel back, has to light crystal but it is the a Domino's edition. Yeah, uh, very cool, very cool. I love this. I think you get a lot of money for your watch in, in this uh, with this model, um, which I think is great. Like you said, they start out with some uh, more entry-level Rolexes. Um, here, this is a great Omega, right? I mean, 
this is not entry level. This is this is a proper a proper chronograph. Well, look, the classic Rolex Oyster Perpetual is a great watch, but it's not the flagship watch. Sure. It's literally the least expensive entry level watch. If you're gonna get one Omega, the most famous Omega of all time, one of the most famous watches in the world of right. all time, it's the Speedmaster, yeah. and the fact that you can get this from Domino's as an award now is yeah. awesome because there isn't. It is the quintessential Omega. Um, it just makes so much sense to have in his Ward's watch. It does, and they're, they're doing it the same way as the most recent versions of the Rolex, where they have the Signet Link on, on the bracelet right there at the six o'clock position. Um, and I like that. If you don't love uh, the dominoes being shown on your watch, I don't know that there's a watch that looks better on a leather strap. So any strap, the Speedmaster looks great on every that's single true. strap. Yeah, it looks good on everything. Take four yes. zip ties, put it around your wrist. It still looks fire. So I love the Speedmaster. Put it on the NATO. Put it on the leather. Put it on whatever. It looks amazing. And we're back to the classic Moon Watch. There's you don't need to have the dominoes uh, displayed there. So uh, I love this. I think it's a fantastic idea. Like you said one of the most uh, iconic and recognizable watches ever. So um, I like this, I like the partnership. I like that we saw one here, really, really interesting watch. Yeah, really interesting. You don't, I mean, we, you see lots of Domino's Rolex, you don't see many of these. I do wish Omega just went ridiculous with it. Pizza sub dials, you know, delivery time tracker on the, on the bezel or something like that, like really lean into it, but at the same time, that's not the watch people want. If you are, if you want an award for the, you know, the, you know, outstanding sales and customers ratings and all of that you do want something you can actually wear every day and that is the speedmaster classic black you know it's i would it's love to perfect. see that and omega is really good about adding those subtle details they do it with a lot of the olympic watches a lot of the james bond watches a lot of the apollo watches um they're good about i mean some of them are kind of over the top in terms of the styling and you know the the custom details they put on it, but some of them are really subtle, like the little six second burn and the little you know the little Snoopy things. I would love to see an the, extremely subtle little Domino's nod. Yeah, the something the time. Maybe the uh, uh, 25 minutes average delivery time is one of the qualifications. So I would love to see a tiny little thing on there, kind of signifying that where you don't really notice it unless someone points it out. Um, maybe next year down the line. I don't know. Omega, if you're listening, I think that would be a fantastic add to this watch. Yes, please outsource the design of the Pizza Master. Uh, pizza <laughs> we, ma we'll sorry, chime in. Pizza Master Professional. <laughs> um, I love this for Domino's. I think it's a objectively a more interesting model uh, for people to receive and own. And I want Omega to have the kind of the same history and heritage that Rolex enjoys in America, where if you go to the Netherlands, a lot of people's fathers or parents received um, Omega watches as their like retirement watches. Mm -hmm. And I want more of that for Omega in the United States. I think this is a great move for Omega. There's gonna be a bunch of people being awarded these and have these fond memories. Mm -hmm. More Speedmasters is more better as far as I'm concerned. Sure. So the more of these I see on people's wrists, I'm gonna be excited about it. But I think all around this is a win for o Omega, yeah. a win for the franchise owners, and certainly a win for Domino's because uh, uh, Pizza Master is uh, an awesome concept. <laughs> Another great watch this week. As always, we see tons of fantastic watches. We got to open this one up and share it with you today. I think this is the first one of these we've seen here, which is really exciting. I saw one um, somewhere else, but this is the first one we've actually seen first here. First one so, I've ever seen the metal. Yeah, really excited to share it with you guys. So as always, these will eventually end up on the Bob's Watches website. So make sure to check out the new arrivals page if you're looking for this watch or just any new watch in general. Um, it will end up on the new arrivals page. So anyway, that about wraps it up for this one. Thanks for joining me here today, Ripley. Thanks for having me. All right, we'll see you next time. Until then, be well. Bye-bye. <laughs>